Hello everyone! So, uh, just to let you know, I was on my way to one of the big cities, but I luckily found a merchant, like, right here on my way to the giant city over there, and I was able to sell most of my stuff. So now we're back at the Bloody Baron's castle, because his men were level 3, and that's promising. And now I'm probably going to find out that I could have just walked a little further and talked to the armor over here, but that's okay. Hey, I'm a nice guy. I'm here for you, for the people. Hmm. Halt! Who goes there? Baron home? Not your concern. Need to talk to him. Open the gate. Not a chance. We heard what happened at the crossroads. We'll not let a man like that in here. Won't get in that way. Gotta find another. I'll look among the villagers. Might find one brave enough to help me. Huh. Both the daughter and the wife are missing? Well, it says search the castle, but at the same time, it gives me a quest marker right over here. Oh. It takes a tired old man not to panic and run when I appear. Greetings. Greetings to you. Other villagers all scurried off soon as they saw me. You didn't. Oh, I'm too old to scurry. Besides, what could you do to me? Kill me? Go ahead. I've not long to live. Tamioid? Wouldn't work. My skin's right brittle. Lived here long? Hmm. Since I was born. Reckon that'll be more than 70 winters. Must know the area well. Not bad. Listen, I gotta get inside the fortress. Can I do that without going through the front gate? Ye can, but few know the way. If you were to make an humble offering, call it to this humble man, maybe I could point you in the right direction. <laughs> sure. Fine. Don't really feel like arguing with the guards. Years back when the old lord still ruled Crow's Perch, the blacksmith's boy went missing. Old village looked for him. No luck. Finally found the boy in the river. He drowned. Tragic. But how's that supposed to help me? A few days on, an old woman who served the lord found the boy's cap near the castle well. So, either he lost it there, or he fell in the well. Clever man. Village folk built a shrine where they found the lad's body, northwest of here. Wait till you find an entrance to a passage nearby. Shrine? Where is it exactly? Track that weaves through the village. Follow it to the bridge. Turn right past that. Then go on, straight as piss, till you get to a crossroads. I think I passed Turn it. Turn right again. Oh. Then follow that path up a hill. Shrine stands upon it. Right past the bridge, then right again. I'll find it. Thanks. The quest tracker will lead me there. Look at this weather. Hey this game's amazing. Or it looks amazing. Whoa! Come on. I am holding down A. There we go. Nope. Nope. There it is. 
Seems I'm in for a swim. It does seem that way. This may be a good time to use the torch. Are. In Fazima, now those were balls. Attended a few, me and my Annie. How oh, how we danced, how we twirled. <laughs> oh! One, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> hey! Enough. I don't care how you do it, but the deliveries must be weekly. Won't you stay for tea? No. Besides, you've another guest. Aha! A defender of the downtrodden. Greetings. News gets around quick. That it does. When I learned you'd slaughtered my men, I thought to have you captured and hanged. Or at least flogged. But then I thought one tough cocker if he bested that lot of cutthroats. Man like him could prove useful. I'm not a thug for hire. I know who you are, but since you come here having perpetrated that bloodbath, I assume you've something important to discuss. I do. Very well, then let's discuss it. One thing, you do well to behave this time. Remember, I've still to decide what to do with you. Which I shall do after we've spoken. Okay. Make yourself at home. Hey, where would I put the bloody vodka? Reminds me of Robert ah, Baratheon. There it is. A snifter. Why not? Ha! A man after my own heart. Hmm. With Foltest dead and Natalis whereabouts unknown. Bloody hell, who's a loyal Sumerian to drink to these days? Himself and his company? Good enough. To the matter at hand, I'm Philip Stranger. Now the blob tits round here call me the Bloody Baron. Geralt of Rivia. Blob tits call me the Butcher of Blaviken. I huh? said already, I know who you are. Truth be told, it's the only reason we're talking. How do you like it here in Velen? Lovely place. Swamps, bogs, marshes everywhere. Exactly. Someone loses their way around here, he becomes damn hard to find. What are you getting at? Many have lost loved ones here. 
Some their wives, others their daughters. Get to the point already. Siri, that's why you've come, isn't it? So she was here. She showed up some time ago, exhausted, wounded, and stinking like a soaked hound after a hard hunt. Later, I learned she'd come from the swamp. Said some beasts from the woods attacked her before she could reach the village. When you play as Siri, you cannot access the inventory or use signs. Wait, what? <sighs> that was close. I must leave this place. You play as Siri? Hey, I mean, I got these ingredients. <laughs> Even though I can't access my inventory. Weird, okay. Follow the riverbed and find help. She needs help. Oh, whoa! <laughs> Holy shit! Broken! Siri OP! Holy crap! Those little dashes like that? That's insane. You can come down. She's not a witcher though. Hello there. I know she has magic. Are you lost? A little, I guess. Are you? Yes, though also just a little. Does that mean you know which way to go? Not quite. Not yet. But I'm sure we'll find the way if we set off together. What happened to you? This? It's nothing. Because if she was a witch, I mean, she was the dude's ward, um, Geralt, but. She doesn't have the cat eyes, so she's just, um, oh, anyway. How did you wind up here? My father brought me, told me to follow the trail of treats and eat my fill. He said he would wait. So I started down the trail, but then I saw a butterfly, and I ran to catch it, and I lost my way. You and your father, when did you leave home? This morning. And did the sun warm your face or your back? It warmed my back. So we must go east. Come, I'll walk you home. And explain to your parents that they must not lose their children in the woods. We can't go home because of the Wolf King and his pack. What? No kings among wolves. These have one. And you've seen him? Yes, I mean, no. From behind a tree. He was huge, with giant eyes and great fangs, and he was terribly, disgustably horrific. Okay. See what I've got on my back? Wolves fear it. Kings do too. Come, I'll help you up. Looks like your father was trying to, I don't know, leave you alone in the woods?
Oh, opa, opa. Oh my god, so many. Ah, oh, so many. Jesus. Oh, she's gonna have her own stuff in the future, though, because that's a whole different UI. You can come out now. My, you're brave. My father can even do that. Mine could do a lot more. Come. Look, there's something there. Yeah. Yeah. Wait but... here. Don't come any closer. But no buts. Stay here. I must see something. Hmm. Bloodshot, but still moist. He died recently. Lips parted and bloated. Bit clear through his tongue. Immense pain before death. Hmm. Uh, his chest is crushed. Ribs probably pierced his lungs. Something picked him up and threw him against the tree. Oh. Oh. Werewolf. Hmm. Something tore his leg off. No, gnawed it off. Ew, that's horrible. Stay there and look away. Hmm, what's this? Marrow's missing. Interesting. Let's see. His liver's gone. Why are you digging through his belly? Would you mind making certain your laces are tied? The Wolf King's no fantasy, it seems. Except, he's a werewolf. What happened to him? He... had a fall. <laughs> oh, my bet. The Wolf King got him. When did children get so smart? What will we do when the Wolf King finds us? Good question. I've no silver. But I can make a blade oil. Oil? You mean like we make from rapeseed? No. A far more special oil. Of dog tallow, wolf's bane, bull's parsley, and wolf's liver. The Wolf King will feel terrible, terrible pain. You're smart. How do you know these things? Did your father teach you? Not my father. My uncle. Uncle Vesemir. Good old Uncle Vesemir. Alright, so I do have to find some stuff. Let's start with uh, that. Hmm. Massacred. By something with immense claws. Hmm. Okay. You don't have uh, Witcher Vision either. I guess that makes sense. I'm not a Witcher. Children out to follow you can 
Yeah, Wolf King will probably be pretty angry. Very mean. All right, I have everything. Now for a spot where I can build a fire and brew the oil in peace. What you doing? Greasing my blade. There. You'll see just how effective Uncle Vesemir's formulae are. Okay. I'm hoping very effective. This looks like a spot to fight something. He's all in blood. Clawed open. No wolves did this. Is Grelka the Wolf King? Like, is that the, is that the reveal? This way, through the cave. You lead. Yeah, through a dark cave. How about you go first? Okay, I'll go first. It's dark. Afraid? Are you? No. Then I'm not either. Ah, oh, maybe she isn't. Hey, what? The Wolf King, now do you believe me? I do. Hide! Hey. Pooch face. King of Wolves. How's it going, buddy? How's it going? Him a drubbing. Never seen anything like it. Girl, you can come out now. Come on. You're lucky we came this way. Found someone far less fortunate in the forest. Yaren, must be. We was returning from Midcops when the brute attacked. I managed to flee, but Yaren. Uh, the little one. No details. You have bandages at home. Some spirit? He laid a claw or two on me, unfortunately. Well, I've, I've not, miss, but my lord, he's a powerful man. He's sure to help you. Might even reward you for cutting the werewolf down. Very well. Lead us to your lord. All right, I guess she was just a local after all. I don't know. I had a, uh, I had my doubts. Just who do you think you brought me, man? That's not my daughter. And the little one. Neither, damn it! I think I'd know my own child. Well, it uh, might, might not be yours, the older one, but you've got to admit the likeness. That's downright striking. So, any chance for that reward? You'll not see one fucking copper. Get out before I set my hands on you. So, stew any good? Very. Thank you. 
I'd not eaten in. Clear to see. I'm pleased you like it. Had them prepare a bath for you once you've eaten. And you could do with some sleep. Great care in the nook behind the hearth. You in the guest room opposite the kitchen. Thank you. I... Shh. Eat now. We'll speak once you've rested. He doesn't seem to be like the nice man. Why would he take these two in and... Hmm. So I ordered my men to watch her and left her to rest. And? Ah, a topic for another time. Okay, so something happened. The little girl who showed up here with Siri. What happened to her? Gretka. She's safe and sound. Helps out in the kitchen. Siri told me of the girl's parents, what they decided. So I decided not to send the lass home. She's fed here. A roof over a warm corner she calls her own. She wants for nothing. What happened to Siri? I've told you already. A topic for another time. Hmm. I want... I need to find her. Understand? I need every last bit of information available. I understand. But you see, it so happens my wife and daughter are missing as well. I propose an exchange. Find my loved ones, and I shall tell you about the girl you seek. All I know. Thing is, can I trust you? What guarantees do I have? <laughs> None whatsoever. Only my word. All right. Fine. I'll help you. I'll find your family. But then you'll give me every bit of information you have. You have my word. When do you see them last? They vanished after the new moon, as if whisked away by shadows. What do you mean, vanished? Precisely that. I awoke one morn to find them gone. Have you searched? <laughs> yeah, he's probably, probably dead. Can't start searching till I know what they look like. Tamara, my daughter, turned 19 in the spring. Slender lass, about yay tall, comes up to my shoulders. Beautiful eyes, green like her mother's. My wife, Anna, has two score winters behind her that she'd never admit it. Dark hair, thick as tar, keeps it tied up in a bun. I'll need to know a lot more than that. Can I see their rooms? What for? I need clues. Anything to latch on to. I'll not let a stranger pour through their belongings. Want me to find them or not? I do. Then let me work. <sighs> Fine. But I shall go with you. The doors are locked. Very well. Well, let's, uh, let's stop it here, everyone. So thanks for watching. We'll paw through their personal belongings in the next uh, episode. Take care.